Hey there, welcome back to the Jeep Solid Garage. So as a lot of you know, the stroker build is done. I've been able to take it out, have some fun with it. I can definitely notice quite a big difference in the power. When I hit the accelerator, especially in like second and third gear, it just takes off. All right, stroker, zero to 60 test. I can definitely feel it has a little more power now. Let's go. Definitely more power, a lot faster. But now I'm on to the next phase. We've got a lot to do on the Jeep today. I have been able to take it out and have a little bit of fun with it. I've been enjoying that, but I really want to have it ready for summer. And the goal is to get a new paint job on. There's a lot to do. And if we look around at the paint a little bit, you know, the hood here, I mean, the clear coat is just peeling off terribly. The rest of the paint, it's not really in that bad a shape, except I just have clear coat failure going on in quite a few different places. Once it starts, the whole thing just starts to go. A little bit of body work to do here. So my goal is to get all the bits and pieces off of this, start sanding it, do a little bit of body work, get the fenders off. I mean, there, there's a lot to do. And when I've been driving it around and playing a little bit, having some fun with it, one thing I've noticed, my feet are getting super cold. I've got like a cold air draft coming in down there somewhere. And I did have the steering column out of this a while ago. And I don't know if like the gasket back there, it's kind of hiding back in there in the deep abyss. If I didn't get a good seal there, if there's some other hole or something blowing cold air in, the stroker build, gosh, what a fun build that was. So excited about that. Uh, still have a little more work to do. Got to put a new clutch in. I'm going to put new uh, hoses. I want to get a new radio. And there's a lot of new stuff I still want to do to this. This is going to be an ongoing project. But today's goal is start stripping it down. And during this intro, one thing I noticed is the beard. I got a couple of comments, actually. And I thought, hey, it's, you know, new year. Let's try something different. So what do you think? Keep the beard, leave it. I don't know. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And the other thing that I've done is I've driven it enough miles, enough hours on the uh, engine break-in to be able to do the first oil change. So I went ahead and did that. So then uh, filled it back up with some another round of uh, high zinc, no detergent oil to finish off the break-in. But after that initial four hours, what, 200 miles, I think it said, 200 miles over four hours, you want to uh, change the oil. So got that done. And now during my engine break-in video on my Stroger build, some of you might've noticed, or actually on the initial start, like, yeah, I've got, got some ignition issues going on. My uh, ignition cylinder here, it's gone. I got some uh, replacement I gotta do there. So obviously a lot more work to do on this project. All right, I gotta find some volunteers to help me lift this back off. Watch your fingers. Are you guys ready? Yep. All right, I just got that open so we can, so we can lift, kind of break it loose a little bit. You mean fall down on you? Hopefully not. Ready? That's a pretty slick little two-piece top there. The front half is super easy to handle, lightweight. The back half is not super heavy, but it's just awkward. So I'd like to get some help with that. I think it's, uh, I don't think they make that two-piece anymore. It was made by Steel Horse, I think is what it says on it. Anyways, let's get all these little bits of trim off and we'll uh, keep going. Maybe what, next fender flares? These fender flares, they're just garbage. I've got them like bungee corded on in some spots. They're just broken down, sun faded, cracked. Just, yeah, they're in terrible shape. So I'll be getting brand new fender flares on this as well. It's gonna look super slick when it's done. That side was pretty quick and easy. I noticed on the back end here, this back fender, I have to straighten that out a little bit. I and mean, fender flare will hide that quite a bit because the fender flare should be out here. 
But yeah, it's uh, definitely not straight there. Okay, so I want to I want to replace the gasket here. Obviously, take the windshield wipers off. But this gasket around the window, I don't need to replace the windshield. So I'm going to leave this gasket in place. But this one is brittle and dry. I'm going to replace that. So I'll fold the window down, take off the uh, windshield wipers, take this gasket off, leave this gasket there. I think I'll leave the windshield frame on. Last Jeep I painted, I took it off and that worked out pretty well, but I don't know, it's a work in progress. But uh, let's start by taking the windshield wipers off and actually get this antenna out of the way real quick. Now don't these just pry off? Or is there a release under there? No, it looks like I thought it was coming. Yeah, it's coming. And if I remember correctly, this plastic piece just unthreads. Yes, I do remember correctly. Well, just when everything was going nice and smooth, I got a couple of the bolts out on the bracket there to uh, fold the windshield down here. And then I move up here and I start working on these guys up there. And I, I snap my good craftsman bit in half and that's the only one I have that fits this. What is this, a uh, T40? I need a new T40. Maybe it's because I'm using my impact driver, which is not designed for these. Oh, so what I think I have to do is weld. I'm going to weld a little nut on there and take it off that way. Not the prettiest weld. But honestly, it's working. How about that? And I'm pretty happy with this because honestly, this is the first time I've ever welded a nut onto a broken bolt or something to extract it. So, hey, not bad for the first time. It did take me uh, two tries. The first nut, I just, I don't know, wasn't a good weld, but this is working, so that's awesome. Definitely got to order a new gasket here. Yeah, I did decide to go ahead and take this frame off. It's just going to make it a lot easier to sand and paint. And I do want some of these screws out for painting so that if I ever have to remove the windshield, take the windshield hinges off, it's not all like glued together with paint. Like you can take the screws out, those, these bolts out without like wrecking the paint. So yeah, I'm going to take it off. Down. There we go, we can just lift it off. All right, not bad, we're making good progress here. Getting these hinges off, whew, it's the hardest part. So how does this go on? This is the driver's side, but these bolts, there's these 13 millimeter nuts on the inside and they just spin. You gotta get your hand way up under there, underneath the dash. It's super hard to get a wrench on it. It was a pain, but I finally got it. Yeah. All right, next let's move on to removing the hood. Gotta take the hinges all off. It just makes everything a lot easier to paint so you can get in all the nooks and crannies. Hopefully this comes off smoothly. Oh, piece of cake. All right, let's see if I can remove this hood by myself. All right, we really got a lot stripped off this Jeep today. We're getting close. Check out my next video right here and have a good day.